What are the signs of atrophic vaginitis during menopause and what treatments are available? What is atrophic vaginitis? Okay, so atrophic vaginitis, let's talk about what that is. And that's the reason I have a nice juicy fruit. It is when tissues of the vagina become thinner and you lose their usual plumpness and natural elasticity. So I want you to keep in mind that when the balance of hormones is normal, as you expect before the onset of perimenopause, you'd expect the tissues of the vulva, vagina, the genital area to be plump, nicely lubricated, fleshy, thick, not dry, all those words. Similar to what I've got on the screen, that's why I've got that fruit there indicating, you know, what it's when the hormone balance is right, that's what you'd expect. However, as the hormone balance changes, as the imbalance begins, then the tissues of the, the vagina become thinner and lose the, that plumpness and natural elasticity. And that's because of the reduction in estrogen and progesterone. So women, we could experience dryness of the vagina, the vulva area, itching, discomfort during sex and urinary issues. I do have videos on my channel talking about this. So please have a look where I talk about painful sex around menopause and treatments as well. And this is another fairly common complaint that women have sometimes difficult to discuss with their doctor and traditionally something that women will just endure, which is sad because they can be treated with both hormone and non-hormone options. So I think it's really important about having that conversation. It can cause bleeding during sex or after sex because the tissues are so sensitive, can cause irritation. Women can experience frequent, frequent infections. So really important that you're speaking to your doctor about it. How can you improve things or how can you help things? How can we manage this problem? You can start with as simple as making sure that you're drinking plenty of fluids and staying well hydrated because if your tissues are well hydrated and they're less likely to be dry you're improving your chances it's better to make sure you're taking plenty of water so you're not dry make that conscious effort if you're somebody who doesn't drink much then really as you get into the sort of that sort of age where you're perimenopausal you should be thinking about making sure you're drinking plenty of water the other thing i would say is also avoiding a certain type of products that could irritate your skin and i think at that point many women know their bodies they know what creams or soaps they can use that they can tolerate so just be careful that you're not exposing yourself to bubble baths or douches or personal care products that could irritate the skin of your genitals particularly the vulva and the vagina and um, so if you notice any of them that are not good for you avoid them because they could just make a bad situation worse so of course you can also get things like vaginal moisturizers and lubricants they're not just for the sake of when you want to have sex they're also just some of them are also quite helpful in improving the fluid balance the state of hydration of those tissues and making them less dry so another reason to have a look at those options because they are available and i will put a link to my videos where i actually break down vaginal moisturizers vaginal lubricants a chart of different options for treating atrophic vaginitis particularly around issues with sex of course hrt and in this case, we're talking about things like vaginal estrogen. So this is estrogen that is applied vaginally, hormone replacement therapy that you can take as a tablet or you can apply over the skin as a patch or gel could help if you're also experiencing symptoms like hot flushes and night sweats in addition to experiencing changes down below around the genital area. And of course, um, you can have this conversation with your doctor for the option. So the key thing I think about this is the, know the signs. The signs are itchy of the vulva or around the, the vulva uh, the vagina and um, experiencing dryness in that area pain during sex reasons that you can come to your doctor to speak about those symptoms there are treatments available to relieve you to give you um, a sense of well-being that every woman deserves to have <laughs>